Hello, I'm Divagant. On my seventh tutorial, my third attempt to make this tutorial. This one is about, is about models and prefab from prefabricated and the difference between them. Well, uh, what is a model? I'm going to show you one from Half-Life Model Viewer 1.25, which is freeware. I'm going to add a link to the mirror. On the video description, I'm going to show you the Apache model. If you ever played Half-Life 1 from uh, start to end, you faced the Apache as an enemy. In that case, the Apache would move more or less in a normal way, would shoot you, would attack you at scene if you if it sees you. In this case, we are going to head it as something decorative, as a detail to the map, not as a monster, as a model, as a detail. Okay, I'm going to show you the easiest way to add a model, which is adding a cycler. This is a very basic model bringer. Just choose the model you want. You get the angle of it. Normally models are made facing right, so if you change the angle here, it changes the same angle. Sometimes they have more 90 or 180 degrees. You have to play with that, but you'll get used to it in no time. Uh, stuff like models like trees have transparency parts, normally in the leaves, like in solid transparency, this blue stuff, normally in models they are, they are black to remove that. Render mode solid, effects amount 155. Also another detail about models, some models uh, are passed through, this is you can go right through them, it's like they weren't even there sometimes, you can't. It depends from model to model because that detail it's in the model within the model, not in the map. Now, I'm going to show you what a prefab is. If you go to tools, you have your prefab factory here, which is basically your briefcases with prefabricated objects. Arminator PM'd me, asking me how I could show him how to add models, uh, and chairs and tables and stuff like that. Well, guess what? Uh, tables and chairs and other many other details are not models, are not details like the Apache. Although the Apache wasn't meant to be a diesel, but uh, they are mapped. They were very thin details which were mapped like the environment, like these walls, the sky ceiling and the, and the ground. Basically, I'm just going to make a block out of the briefcase of the prefab, choosing the prefab I want, in this case our armchair. Original HL1 don't come with prefabs, don't come with textures, but, but if you just choose a texture you want and apply it to the prefab, it gets the texture you want. Notice they are mapped just like if they were walls or others, like that. Also something I haven't mentioned so far, at the first click you have resize and drag, at the second click you have rotate, at the third click you have distortion. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Prefabs are basically this, are mapped objects that, that are meant to be decorative and to be reused very, very often. Well, that's it. Um, I'm just going to compile it to show you everything from today. This is like the third or fourth time I'm doing this today. My third attempt to, to make the tutorial. This is going terribly so far. Here we go, our model at Apache. In the case of the Apache, you can't go through him, but for example, a tree or many other models, you can't go through him. And our rotated and distorted prefab we made. It's just like if it was a wall, or a series of walls in this case. 
Okay, and here we go today, the difference between a model and a prefab. Thanks all, I'm Divagant, the official trader, this is them, and so on, and I'll see you all tomorrow guys.